more detail uh, on the uh, driver's cockpit here uh, th this is really cool the the view in person is probably much better than it's coming across on camera but I hope you get the idea but everything you're seeing down here as far as the driver's information center is completely digital okay so if you shut the car off everything just kind of goes black gives you a nice little emblem of a VW Atlas pulling up so if you start it up Typically the screen would be black, but I'm not going to wait for it. I think it pops on, tells you what the outside temperature is. And there we be. All right. So you can program this through the infotainment system for uh, up to three different drivers. So it configures your temperature, your dashboard look, your mirrors, your seat, all that kind of stuff. Typical memory set uh, um, things here here uh, what I'm going to be using um, are these buttons here up and down when I need to go up uh, up and down and I'm using these when I go to left to right and the OK button to select things and then the view button um, to pull things up so let's go to the view button first all right then I'm going to use the up and down buttons right here we can toggle through all these different settings. So here's your, um, we're gonna go back up to the beginning here, sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. So here is your classic view of your gauges. Okay, now you can change it if you want gear and speeds. So you see what's doing on the left and the right is keeping the, you know, the RPM gauge and speedometer, but changing what's inside. And this is what happens throughout the list. Just go through the economy. And all I'm doing is pressing the down arrow and then the OK button to do that. Oops, I missed the navigation. Navigation is probably my favorite. Um, right now it's just displaying things, but what will happen when you actually have navigation on is that it'll take up all the space in here. And, and then the speedometer and the RPM gauge shrink up a little bit. Okay, driver assist systems. All right, I can click on that and I can I see my um, adaptive cruise control uh, distance setting there and I see um, my directions. Where am I? Right over he in here. Okay. Now, I can also go to off-road. And there I've got a couple of different settings that I can use. So on this particular one, what it does is it gives you your the camber of your tires, you know, the degree at which they're 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 bending, and then you have your compass. Alright. So that's with the view button here. Alright, now. If I, you, you see the top menu up there in white here, I'm just kind of scrolling through it, navigation, telephone, vehicle status. Okay, all that is being, th that's these two silver buttons, back, left, moving it to the right, moving to the left. Okay, so that's how you change between major things on the driver's information center. So there's navigation. If you wait a second, droop, there they go. They shrink right up and give you a much larger area. That's kind of nice to look up. Uh, just right in front of you instead of having to look on your infotainment screen. Now I didn't try this, but I my uh, I think if you have it displayed in the driver's cockpit, mm, correct, it does not show up on the infotainment screen anymore. So it can kind of be only one place. All right, so let's keep going on the silver buttons here. Okay, so that's navigation. Um, here is audio so if I want yep if I wait a minute there it is now once I'm in audio I have these up and down arrows which allow me to now go between radio stations these are presets okay I can actually uh, close things I can go to sources okay now I'm back to my main sources. Now I can select you know, if I want a CD or an SD card, a USB or whatever your phone's plugged into. 
auxiliary long list of things here. Right? They even give you a close button. So we'll get back to that and we'll hit close. Okay, so I was able to navigate to the to the audio using these silver buttons, and then once it got to audio, I went up and down to find um, different things that were within the audio menu. Okay, we're gonna keep going here. Vehicle status. Now this one, this is all it tells you. Okay, we go on to the next one. This is driving data. So here you've got a lot. Travel to home. Um, there we go. This is telling you how many gallons per hour you're using running your climate control. So if you're very conscientious about using gas, um, this would be a great feature. It'd be one I would turn off or not pay any attention to whatsoever, but that's me. It is there for people um, who, who, um, who want to know those things. Uh, but it's really cool, it's unusual to see that. Here's your range, what you have left in fuel, your average economy, your regular economy, um, oil temperature, speed warning you can set. Um, you can have digital speed. And if you just, if, if you press any one of these, they just come up in the middle. All right, so, so I'll, I'll go back here in a minute. Now, and all I did to go back was I just I kept pressing these arrows. Okay, so if I want to do average speed, I can display that. Okay, and it will just keep counting as I drive. Okay, let's just keep going. Distance, travel time, range. Let's, let's see what this one, I already saw that one, I guess. Okay, let's look at range. Okay, just tells you 70 miles. That's what you have left. Average economy. All right, we're going to shoot for a little better than that on our ride. Okay. So um, that, that's your driver's uh, information center there. Though I want to point out something here. Uh, it's always good to be able to get your safety systems quickly. And they do have, Volkswagen does have a, double, a dedicated button here. So if I press this one, it brings me right to all of my safety systems. And then I can use the up and down arrows here and the OK button here to remove things. So if I don't want lane assist on, when it's highlighted, I just press the OK button right here, and that disappears. Okay. I, of course, am going to leave that on. But it's nice to have that safety feature. When your cruise control is set, this is your gap distance indicator. And it is right down here in your dashboard right now. You can see those lines going there. The more gaps you have, the further it keeps you behind another car. Um, you can have it set up so it comes up in this screen as well. I'm going to leave it down there. I kind of want to watch this while we're driving. Okay. Otherwise, it's just simple on-off for your cruise, set, resume, and then again, volume controls here. You do have a plus and a minus button here, and they do have to do with the cruise control. This is incremental, like you want to go up a mile an hour. Watch. Do you see that little cursor going up around the speedometer? on the outside that's where I'm clicking the plus button down here so it's actually going to move a physical dial to where you want it which I think is really nice we've seen that in a few other vehicles and I, I really like that I like visually seeing where my cruise is right on the speedometer so for now we'll just leave it down here okay so let's talk then about the infotainment center a little bit so um, this has um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So basically, uh, on this screen, most of your controls are touch. You do have um, a physical on, off, and volume, and you do have a scrolling button, but it doesn't scroll through the apps. Okay, it's for like radio stations or skipping on a CD or something. And yes, this does have a CD player. It's in the glove compartment. Um, all right. There are two screens because we have two little buttons down here that are showing up. That means we have two screens, so we're just gonna swipe right to left, and there's our second screen. Now for any of these, all you do on them is just like on your smartphone, you just click to get into it. So here we go. 
here's the off-road information that we were showing down here are some other buttons that is called selection we have radio we have settings so right now we're going to do selection and right now what's displaying up here is called off-road information but i can do energy consumers this is going to show you again how many gallons per hour you're burning running climate control uh, if i want to do driving data that will display now i do have a couple of arrows here that i can go back and forth on it's just really very very detailed okay i can do think blue trainer so trying to get you to drive economically All right gives you a score kind of gives you a visual graphic and then sense how many miles per gallon have you gotten since you uh, started vehicle status okay this is for driver one there's no information right there so we're just going to scroll through Okay, you can set your tire pressure monitoring system there. All right, hit that selection again. So uh, I'm, I'm going to leave this one on because I, I want to see what happens here with that. So if you want to go to the radio, you can just press the radio button here or your dedicated radio button up here. And then right away, down at the bottom, you get tell, it tells you what band you're on. You can have a station list and a manually tuning feature. So if you click on here, and then you twist this dial then you can manually tune in okay let's say you want to change the band you don't want am okay so let's go back to the radio now we get back to so i just touched radio again here's my band so i touch am and now i can select fm or satellite i'm going to go back to tune i'm going to select my station Click on it. And there I go. All right, now, uh, so that's your radio. Over here on your phone, there's a couple ways to connect your phone. You can connect it um, with a USB cable. That's how you use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Or you can just do it via Bluetooth. Um, but once you do, then you can make phone calls uh, right from your phone using your steering wheel controls. And you have a voice command button right here. By using that, you can then place a call. Um, you can also um, use Siri on here. So if you just kind of push and hold, it'll connect to Siri and then you can ask Siri to do things. Now, if you haven't seen Apple CarPlay, um, you can watch, we have some other videos uh, in our uh, infotainment description list uh, in the videos below and watch any one of those. Apple CarPlay works the same on every vehicle. Um, but it basically takes your apps, uh, a bunch of your apps, and puts them on the screen. So if you like using Google Maps, you can use that. If you like, or if your car doesn't have navigation, but you have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you can use your phone's navigation. It does use your phone's data to do all this. All right, over here, we've got, of course, a media button if we want to see what kind of media that we have connected. So we've got, a, we're right now, the only thing connected is uh, a Bluetooth phone, which is mine. Okay, so I'm going to go back to menu. Um, let's go at navigation. This does have built-in navigation. And let's see if we can, uh, let's see, let's go a POI here quick. Oh, let's find a parking lot. You can kind of see the screen here in a minute. We'll say we want to go there, and we'll say start, and then it's going to go to full screen. All right, we'll start there. Okay. Now it's shifted over here. Okay. If you don't want your navigation to flip over, but if I press this map button, you see that you see the little arrow going back and forth here between the two different things. Now it shows up here. You cannot have it both places at once, but this is how you, you fix it. So again, I can't see anything on my screen, but I put my hand up next to it. A menu appears and I press the one here. It says map now i get it back on here again and you have lots of different settings you can go into there all right going back to menu again we have uh, some app connect here 
uh, which you can use if you're plugged in using a USB device. Basically, it's Apple uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and then something called Mirror Link, which look it up um, on VW's website, but it works with phones that aren't necessarily um, Android or um, Apple CarPlay and allows them to do similar things. So if you're an Apple or an Android user, you're gonna use either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. That's for people who don't have those phones and they can still have access to some awesome uh, abilities with their phones as well. Okay, you, do, can, you can get traffic on here, okay? But uh, we don't have, really have a route that's longer than about a block, so there's no traffic issues. Since I do have two buttons down here at the screen, that means I have two. I move it over here. Um, if I want to look at climate control, here I go. And I can raise or lower temperature simply, simply by sliding my finger in these windows. Or I can push and hold. Okay. I can see the climate control zones right here. And then one for the rear which is really cool I, I love VW's graphics here they've done a really nice job and you of course can set them both to auto if you want all right actually and then you just go back to menu that's what I'm doing every time all right you can go into settings here and then you can change things like the some of the like the picture that shows up on the display the time and the date and those kinds of things then down here you also have a button for voice which you can um, used to help set up different things. Um, uh, voice, you know, operation examples. So if you purchase one of these vehicles, it's going to be worth going through this. Yeah, it's listening to me right now. So we're just going to shut that off. All right. But that basically then is your infotainment system and the driver's information system.